Hello there guys, welcome to 76 here today, and welcome back to another episode of How to Build a Cruise Ship in Minecraft. So today, as you see by the title, we're going over the lifeboats and the funnel, also known as the smokestack. So, let's go ahead and dive right on in into it. So, we're going to want to make the deck first below it, because, well, how are you going to get the lifeboats out of thin air? So you may be wondering that. So, we're going to go ahead and make the promenade deck. The promenade deck is typically the deck that's kind of where all the theme kind of stuff is. Like, maybe not theme stuff, but... I don't really know how to explain it, like, uh, the fun stuff, I guess you could say, where most entertainment is, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make that outer deck right here. Now, what we're going to do is we want it to be two decks high, because lifeboats are big, so, we're gonna go up three blocks, and this is going to be probably the floor level, so we're gonna go back, probably another two blocks, and actually, we're gonna get clay for this, we're gonna get some green clay, because that's typically safety features, because this is going to be where you board the lifeboats, if that makes sense. You want to add like two pieces of green right here, uh, and that's going to represent the safety deck where you would actually board them. Uh, and then actually we're going to make it a little bit smaller because this is a smaller ship, so we'll only actually just put one right there. And there we go, we'll go ahead and finish up that wall, and then there's kind of like the basic kind of structure. Go ahead and complete this wall as well, like that. And we're going to go ahead and get some nice iron bars, if you want to get some carpet to put on top of it, that's perfectly fine. Uh, although I like to keep my bars plain. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our mighty wooden axe. Take this at one point, go to the other point, and we're just going to go ahead and stack it however much we think it is, which I'm going to guess is probably about 50 blocks. Not quite, but as you see now, you can see like kind of how the shape, or the ship is taking place. Blech, cannot talk today. Alright, keep going, keep going. Over to 8, oops, that's too much. So now I'm going to play the guessing game, let's see. 1, 2, 3. Or about five, I'm gonna guess. I hope that that's right. Go 75, and yep, alright. So there we go. Now we have the like basic wall type thing going on here. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our lifeboat stations. But actually, first, I'm gonna fill this in because my OCD will kill me if I don't. Let's keep doing that. Fill in the wall so it looks nice and neat. And also, you may be wondering why we haven't flipped the ship yet from the last episode. It's because we're gonna do the entire exterior first and then flip the ship so we don't have to do this all over again because that would suck. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead, quick lesson, uh, fill this in as well, because when you flip the balconies, or when you stack the balconies from last episode, most likely you're going to have this. And I should have done this before I filmed, but this is a good example on what to look for. So you're going to want to go ahead and just fill these up like so, go all the way down the ship. In fact, there's a much easier way of doing this, I don't even know why I'm doing it this way, maybe because I'm not thinking. So, set wood, there we are. Now it looks nice and clean. Same thing on this side, we're going to want to get some of the wool all the way back to fill up the spaces that's missing. I don't know why those are missing, actually. Thought I put those down, but that doesn't matter. I'm go ahead and slash set the wool. And that looks a lot neater, or my OCD would murder me. So now we're going to make the things that hold the lifeboat. So I usually use quartz just because I think it looks better. You can really use whatever you want. So get a quartz block, a quartz slab, and this little guy right there at the stairs. And go ahead and just start making your pillar, uh, or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to make the base right there. Make more of the arm coming out, and actually we're going to make it so that this is right there. Mmm, a second. So just kind of play around with it, kind of see what you like, but I think I'm going to want, I think I want to make it like that. Um, so there's like the hydraulic arm coming out, and then go into here, and then this is the hook, and the, well, you'll see what I mean. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and go however long we think the lifeboat will be, which is probably about like that. Do the same exact thing like that and that's a pretty good sized lifeboat for this ship so now it's time to actually make the lifeboat itself so i'm gonna make mine orange you can make it i think yellow i know you can because of disney um you, you can look it up i don't know the um all the different types of colors you can use off the top of my head i wish i did but i don't uh, i'm gonna go ahead and go two blocks down and this is gonna be kind of the top of the lifeboat let's keep going like this then we're gonna go uh, kind of make it like a like a cover kind of, uh, and kind of make it like a dome-ish type of thing, majig going on here, uh, like this, which is gonna form the top of the lifeboat. And then on the bottom, you can use anything from iron to quartz to really anything. I'm gonna use quartz just because you can do a lot more with quartz than you can with iron, because you have quartz slabs and everything, so you can have more detail. But again, completely up to you. Um, and actually, we've got to be careful here, though, because they're not going to have enough room to walk on the promenade, which you want to make sure that they do, so I'm, I'm actually going to do this, though. They may, they're not going to have enough room, but they'll be able to walk past it. Um, you're, these are just kind of some flaws with this, is that, you know, you're on a small ship, you got to kind of got to just live with it. So, mm, 
You can lift it, I guess, if you're in this situation like I am. You can lift it. It's completely, completely up to you in every way. Oh, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and lift it. I've changed my mind. Move one up. And there we are. So now it looks like it's actually attached to it, which is perfectly fine. So now we're gonna go ahead and get some glass because you need a glass to look out of the lifeboat. So go ahead. Oops. Go put a glass right there. Put the structure behind it like that. And there you go, it looks like a nice little scat lifeboat. And we're gonna go ahead and get some cobblestone walls. You can use fences, you can really use whatever you want on this, but I just use the walls because I like them because they look like cables. And we're gonna go ahead and put it over here as well. This over here. Alright, so then we have a nice little lifeboat, but that looks just lame. If you look at most lifeboats that people make on Minecraft, they look something like this. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some detail. Because you want your stuff to have the best detail you possibly can. So I'm gonna add some bricks. We're gonna get some carpet. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the top opening. So we're gonna put the bricks here, just to add a little bit of different colored texture because you don't want a boring. Um, I know a couple people in specific that always do that always make the lifeboats look boring, and that's just no fun. So we'll do that. Then we're gonna put this cover on the top, which signifies where you would board and deboard the lifeboat like that. And there we go. We have a pretty good looking lifeboat. It actually looks pretty detailed. And if you want, you can even add pistons down here for rudders. Um, actually, not on this one, but you have to have it come down like one down if you wanted pistons. Uh, did I say rudders? I meant to say, uh, what are they called? Propellers. <laughs> Dumb moment. But um, anyways, there is a nice looking lifeboat. I'm actually pretty happy with the way this looks. So, alright. So now we can go ahead and do the old stackaroo. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some red wool to kind of demonstrate for you guys where the points need to be. So the first point needs to be right here on the very bottom of the lifeboat. Make sure it doesn't touch anything else. So it's on the very bottom of the lifeboat. And we're going to go all the way over here. We want one. We want these things about spaced about one apart. So you're going to put one red wool bleh, right, in back, right in the back. Um, as you can see, when we did it over here, we added it kind of on right lined up with the side. Over here, we're going to do it on the back, put one off. That's going to be our second position, if that makes sense. Bear with me. Uh, so now we're going to stack them in however many lifeboats, not blocks, lifeboats this is. So I'm going to guess maybe three. Alright, four. <laughs> okay. Five, it's holding a lot more than I thought it would. Maybe even six? Can we fit six? Mmm. That's iffy. I mean, when it comes to stuff like this, you can get away with it, because it's it's just, you know, don't even bother changing it. Uh, just go ahead and go with the flow, whatever the world that it wants to do, whenever it lines up, because more important, the lifeboats line up more than anything else, because lifeboats kind of help give a ship its character, kind of, in a way-ish. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, it's funny. Um, I'll go ahead and make the walls. Just like we always do. Actually, I'm going to go on the outside, because that wouldn't make sense to lock myself inside of an incomplete ship. Alright, there we are. Uh, and then on the inside here, you're going to want to add some detail as well. Yes, you can even add detail back here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some iron bars right over here. Oh, it's sunset time set today. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and put the iron bars in between the lifeboats. Not in front of them or else you're going to block their way to safety. That wouldn't be very smart. Uh, I mean, you could do this if you wanted. Where there's like one entrance port if you wanted. But I'm not going to do that because I think it looks a little bit lame. So we're going to keep doing this. Let's keep going in between them. You could stack this, but that's just abusing world out of it, and that's just lame. Keep going like this. Alright. If you're on a bigger ship, you could even put, like, here, I'll show you. Um, if you're on a bigger ship, like, if you're building Wasted Seas, you can even have, like, these quartz things come out and have, like, a railing on top of them and have them between the lifeboats. I know I think I did that on Breeze, but you can't really do it on this ship because it's way too small. Uh, so there we go. Th those lifeboats actually look pretty good. So now... What we're going to want to do is just the same like we did with the balconies in the balcony episode. Oops, there's some iron bars missing over there. Let's go ahead and fix that. So we're going to go ahead and copy a lifeboat. Again, you want one red lined up with the front of the ship and on the bottom. And we're going to want another one right over here. This one you can actually line up. It doesn't have to be one behind because there's only one lifeboat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and copy it. So I usually just do it from the front uh, right about there because it should line up with the wall pretty nicely. Actually, no. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and copy it. You may always remember your point of view, where you copied it, because that's very, very important that you remember. Uh, we're going to go ahead... Uh, paste it right here. Like that. Make sure it lines up, which I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, we're one off. Oopsie! But good example of me messing up, because you will mess up plenty of times when you build your ship. But there we go. Now it should line up pretty good. 
Uh, and also be sure to recreate the deck because that will most likely not be there when you copy it over, but it's an easy fix. Just go ahead and add down your bottom layers like this. Keep going, keep going. Oops. Delete that block in a minute. There we go. Alright. Um, fix this right here. And keep the wall going back, back, back. Alright. Uh, and then we're also going to want to fix this wall because this wall actually messed up as well. Oops. Alright. There we go. Come on. Eh, uh, work with me. Work with me. Alright. There we go. Up, 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 up. Keep going, keep going. And you could also add windows on these, but I don't usually do the windows until I do the interior, because that's what they rely on. Um, it's much better when you do the in when you do the windows based on the interior more than the exterior. It just works better, in my opinion. Uh, but you can add windows if you're doing this. I just prefer not to. But again, when you're building a ship, it's all in preference. That is all it simply is. Alright. So there we go. Oh, we need the wood. That'd be kind of important so you have something to walk on, I guess. Alright. Go down like this. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we are. And go all the way down. Like that. Actually, we're gonna want one block more because, like, I remember what happened earlier. We wanted to have one block so that the lifeboats can be stacked one block apart. So always make sure that you do that. Have a nice little section going on here. And then, voila, we have more lifeboats on this side of the ship. So we're gonna go ahead, copy, oops. Um, here, uh, yeah, <laughs> like this, I guess. So, do that, oh, it's raining. Toggle, down, fall, just for the sake of lag. I spelt that wrong, good job. That's embarrassing. Okay, so we're gonna see how it lines up like that. You're gonna wanna do that. Uh, and I'm actually gonna do it one block below so it copies the whole deck with it. Um, I should have done that earlier, but I didn't really think of it. And again, we're going to put our other position on the top over here. And then we can go ahead and do exactly what we just did. Sorry, it's like about five lifeboats. See if that works out. All right, it does. Let's go ahead and add six. All right, maybe we can even go for seven. Perfect. Look at that. That lines up actually really nicely with the stern of the ship. So that's actually impressive. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that that worked out so well. And then we can just connect the walls. Um, go ahead and add this. Sorry, perfectionist here. Oops, nope, not there, not there, not there. There we go. Keep going like this. More blocks, more blocks, lots of blocks to Minecraft. Alright. So there we go. There is our lovely little lifeboats, and they actually look pretty good on this ship. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So now we get to move on to the top of the vessel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. We get to move on to the funnel. Now, lucky for us, we only have to build half of a funnel because, well, we're only building half of a ship as of right now. So we're going to go ahead and add one deck below it. Now, you may be wondering, why are we adding a deck below the funnel? Why wouldn't we just make the funnel flat on with a normal deck? Well, the reason is because you have some engine control rooms that you need underneath it, which we'll build in a later episode when we get to the interiors. But we want it on top also because we don't want the passengers getting up to the funnel because if they get inside the funnel, well, that can end very badly. <laughs> So you just don't want that. And I usually only make this deck about two blocks high. You can make it however high you want it. It really doesn't matter. And we'll keep going along this and kind of form this deck along this side. And I make a mine rounded just so it has a little bit of taste to it. Just so it has a little bit of character, as Reese would say. Um, so let's keep going. Again, a lot of this is just repetitive. Let's keep going like this. Come on, you block. Get in there. There we are. All right. That. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and get our wood. I am mumbling so badly today. Wow. All right, but keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, and that's good. Oh, don't drop, don't drop. All right. So let's go ahead and fill the wood. Make sure it's lined up. Fill wood 40. And there we go. Now we have our nice little deck. You can even add two decks if you want to. It really is completely up to you how many decks you would like to add. But I'm only gonna do one for right now. We might add one later. Uh, but that is just all up in the air, but right now our focus is the funnel, so I'm going to go ahead and get the colors. Now the funnel kind of distincts the, or it distinctifies the ship, because it distinctifies the cruise line, so my fictional cruise line, Oceanic Cruise Lines, uh, I'm going to get its colors, which has always remained the same, which I don't even remember how to make the OCL logo. Hopefully I remember. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and build the funnel, so it's going to be kind of a more sleeker funnel, because if you look at the profile of the ship, it is a sleeker looking ship, meaning it's more flat to the ground. So we want the funnel to be somewhat sleek on the thing, but kind of tall at the same time if you kind of catch my drift. So kind of just, it really actually a 45 degree angle might do just fine on this ship. Um, so if you're building a really sleek ship, you'd want to build like two blocks at a time like this. 
you want to make this kind of line because that's a really sleek ship. But this one isn't that sleek, so we're going to go ahead and just do a 45 degree angle. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to do a different type of angle. This this one's kind of hard to do. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Alright, so basically we go two blocks up, then one block, then two blocks, then one block. It's kind of like a Norwegian type uh, funnel. Like that. Yeah, that actually should look just fine. And always make sure that you're looking at the perspective with the ship, because like I said, this funnel will distinctify this ship from other ships. And it's okay if it's going over this, because I'm actually going to make a kind of like arching type thing. So I'm, that's what I'm doing right now, is just making the basic shape of the funnel. And it's okay if it's okay, going to overhang, so. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Do something like this, where it kind of hooks back around like that. So yeah, that look actually looks pretty good. I, I, I know I'm kind of ripping off Norwegian. Uh, but that should be fun. Um, I kind of like that, actually. So, now, with our mighty axe, we can be lazy with the wonderful world edit. Uh, but if you don't use, if you don't have world edit, it's simple. You just pretty much copy it over. Uh, so, we're going to make, basically, the side profile now. So, we're going to kind of see what the funnel looks like. So, I'm going to do it like this. Just kind of get the basic profile in the front like it. Alright. Something like that. Uh, and you know, we'll see it as it goes, so we're just gonna go ahead and paste it, which if you don't have World Edit, you just pretty much, oops. Alright, so always make sure that you copy it. That's a really good example of me screwing up. Uh, I forgot to copy it. Wow, good job. Copy. And paste. And again, if you're doing this without World Edit, just you just rebuild it. It's pretty simple. So as you see, this, this is too wide. So what you would do is kind of just start chopping it off and making it more pyramid, like more of a triangle-ish. Um, like this. So then you just build the top, make it connect, and kind of just make these, kind of just make these work together, I guess. Uh, and you can do the same for the back as well. So we go ahead, put that position right there. But the back doesn't need to be nearly as pointy as the front does, because the front is pretty much where the wind's going in the ship. Because it's like, the wind's not going to go in the ship in the back unless it's going backwards, which I've never heard of before. So, you don't really need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, just the back doesn't... Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. No, back doesn't matter though. I uh, just gotta make sure it looks kind of cool. But you need to make sure the front's aerodynamic, or else if, if you're not, you know, if the, if the ship's going, you're just gonna blow that whole, you're just gonna blow the whole stern of that thing off. So um, don't do that. Time set day. All right. Go in like that. Fill in the gaps in between. Kind of just play around with it a little bit. You have some fun. Like I said, there's not, you know, on this tour, I'm not, I'm not just, you know, I'm not just gonna tell you how to build your ship everywhere. I mean, you have to have some sort of creativity, um, or else you're just gonna pretty much copy this ship, which I can already see a lot of people doing, sadly. Um, there we go. All right, and then just line up this bottom part. The funnel will be completed for the most part, or the basic shape will be completed. And see, how I'm gonna like poking a fin on there. So yeah, there we go. That actually looks kind of cool. I've never done that before. I'm gonna chop this off though. I don't like that. Looks too like skinny, I guess. I don't like the little line. Alright, there we go. That looks pretty interesting, actually. I'm really, I actually kind of like that. That looks different. Looks different. Very different. You know, you do some touch-ups here and there. I'll make it look better. Yeah, alright. I can dig that. So, on the back of it, you're going to want to add vents. Because this thing needs it needs to breathe just like all of us. You know, it's an engine. It needs its air. So, we're going to go ahead and just drill some holes in the back of it. And that's going to represent our vents. So you're gonna put one piece of black wool behind the block that you just destroyed, so, um, and this is gonna represent the engine kind of scenery and thing. If you want to do an interior of a funnel, you just build a whole bunch of pipes. It, you know, it's really easy. It's just I don't choose to do it because it really is a waste of time. Uh, so our vent's gonna be back here. We're gonna want to get some iron bars because it represents the the vents, or just like what it is, the iron bars in between behind the ship. So, uh, and then there we go. So there's that. So it's it's not a very well vented you know, engine, but it'll do. And I'm gonna actually fix this a little bit. I don't really like the way that is. And like I said, just play around with it. Make it look like the way you want it to, because you want the ship to be good looking. It's gonna be a little pride and joy and everything. So yeah, that... that just need to do some work on it. Um, yeah, there we go. So, on the top of it, you're gonna want to go ahead and go about two blocks down and just put a whole bunch of black. Because this is going to represent the darkness which the funnel will be in, unless you want to build 
all the smoke sacks, excuse me, uh, and all that in there, then you can, but I'm that's not going to because I've never done it that way. And uh, then we're gonna want, actually, no, not iron, we want some slabs because it looks like the vent or the cylinders coming out of the top. Which, if you, I'm kind of basing this a little bit off of Norwegian and uh, Allure of the Seas if you've ever seen them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that, which is gonna be kind of tall looking. Not all ships have this, it's, it's just. Again, with the funnel, it's really something that just is takes a lot of creativity. Uh, I mean, it really is something that I can't just, you know, just tell you word for word what to do. It's really just a lot of your preference, because what I think looks good may not be what you think looks good. Uh, you know, so on and so forth, what you think looks good may not think, I might not think what looks good. So it really just is preference when it comes to funnel work, and that's why it's really hard to make a tutorial on how to make a funnel. But I'm trying my best, so hopefully I'm helping a little bit. Uh, so there we go, we have like our little pipes going up there. Then we're going to want to get, you know, some fences and all that fun stuff. And just start putting it in here, uh, representing the other kind of pipes that are sticking out of here and all that weird stuff. You can even add it on there as a whistle or something. And you want to add some walls, which represents the other smaller stacks, you know, coming out of this thing. Because there is, there's not just two main primary stacks. Actually, I like the way that looks. I like how it comes up. That's interesting. I like that. Alright. Design. <laughs> how about that? Alright. Keep doing like that. Do stuff like that. Alright, so there we go. That actually looks pretty good on the top. So then you have your funnel. Um, and then you can just kind of customize it whatever way you want, which I'm going to try to make it look like OCL colors. I don't know if I'm going to be able to succeed. But you can paint it however you want. It is completely up to you. So I believe this is like a place. And also be very careful when you're changing wool colors because if you all remember this is black wool. So uh, if, you, if, if you change all of the wool, then you're going to have, you know, the inside of your funnel is going to be like black. Or it's going to be blue and whatever you decide to change it to. So be very careful about that. Make sure you do the specific colors. Cyan. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You got add your little, you know, add your little designs like an OCL has this type of deal going on. Little blocks going up the side of the ship. Like this. Uh, this is kind of a more boring part of the episode, but I'm still trying so you guys can see what my process and thinking, or my pr what my thinking process is when I build these things. That. There we are. And we also want the light gray because I don't remember that being on OCL ships too. And I totally don't have a picture on my phone of one that I'm looking at right now. Uh, but no, it actually, it actually brings me to a good point. You always use inspiration. You know, don't just build a ship purely off what you think. You know, you can always get some inspiration. You can always look at other ships. Uh, I know when I used to start building, when I used to, when I first started building Minecraft cruise ships, I'd always just look at other people's and get some ideas, which I didn't directly copy them. That's one thing that irritates me the most when people just flat out copy my ships. I've had so many people do that. Um, but uh, you know, just kind of get some ideas. So. That's interesting looking. I might play with that a little bit, uh, but there we go. There is the lifeboats and the funnel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you think of the series so far. Tell me what you think of this ship. Also, the download for this thing will be in the description below from this episode, an updated version of it, so you guys can play around and kind of see what we did for further reference. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and the support for this video. And as always, have an awesome day.